Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid as a part of my Flashback Friday series. We're going to continue from where we left off last week, so let's get into it. Okay. So we've got in here. Now I need to find, ideally, a feeling the cargo elevator. Ooh, you guys are... You guys are everywhere. Well, I think I found the elevator. Oh, there you are. I knew you was around here somewhere. Hey. Is it here? I guess. Where are we? Are we on? <clears throat> I guess we go to basement one then. Hello. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, I'll try. Where is he then? I'll find a new way in. Oh, hello. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Okay. Ah, good. So I guess we're going to have to climb into the vent. Go round the vent. And, uh... Find our boy. Wait. This must be him. Mr. Darker Chief. Who, who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA Chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. My god, he's got no eyes. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? <laughs> it's possible. They could launch a nuke. How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Dunno. I should have like heard it, the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the <laughs> Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Whew. 
But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input I have many two pals. different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Who's this bitch anyway? They find out Baker's past. She's real interested in what we have to talk about. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. I like Here, this guy. Take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. What is it? What's that? Hey, what happened? Shit. Uh, dead. <clears throat> well, god damn it. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand, this op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Uh-oh. Snake, <clears throat> we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay. I guess that's what I'll do. Apparently so. I think she's, uh... I think she's helping me. Don't move. So you or she's not. Cheap, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Why does it look like she's holding that gun really this awkwardly? Is the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? You better Don't shoot think. me. Shoot. Ugh. 
There we go. I use pretty much all of my bullets. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. Oh, I'm you telling keep... you, shoot! Finally. Uh. I am not very good at shooting. That is for sure. I say we go then. Oh dear. Good shooting. Let's go. I guess that means we can get out. Thanks for the help. Wait. She's gonna get shot up. Who are you? You fool. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss. Right, she should have run out of blitz by now. Who's this? Good girl. Just like that. So that was Mantis. Oh dear. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave this second episode of Metal Gear Solid. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Metal Gear Solid as a part of my Flashback Friday series, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time.